You ready? Let's go. Yeah? Okay. All right, so it's going to be a very crash course of uh, Scotch whiskey. Uh, I'm not going to go too much in detail, just whatever you guys need to know about Scotch whiskey. All right, Young, what's Scotch whiskey? Scotch whiskey is whiskey made in Scotland. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's a whiskey that's made in Scotland. That's Scotch whiskey. Uh, what is whiskey? Whiskey is basically an alcohol that is made from grains, mostly barley, not limited to, and then it's distilled, so it's not a beer, and it's barrel aged. That's like the three super basic uh, criteria for uh, a whiskey or Scotch whiskey. Distilled and what else? Distilled and, and, uh, and what else? And barrel aged, Asian oak or wood barrels. And uh, Scotch whiskey. Yeah, not as normally not Scottish oak, but uh, uh, this is kind of the key, the barrel age, because made from grains, like vodka is made from grains, distilled, okay, vodka is made from distilled. If you add juniper and that kind of stuff, it's gin. If you make from other grains, like sugarcane, it's rum. So, like, uh, barrel age is actually what makes whiskey whiskey, and the method of barrel aging was actually started in Scotland. Uh, so the kind of side story was, uh, so there's always the battle between like, England and Scotland, right? Scotland tries, is trying to be like independent all the time, but England kind of owns Scotland. So the tax collector, they'll come and they try to collect tax. Oh, you're making alcohol? Like, I'm gonna tax you, like pay, pay tax, pay tax kind of stuff. So uh, they were making alcohol uh, for like like long tradition, but uh, they wanted to hide it from the government people. That's why they started putting in wooden barrels. So if you put in wooden barrels, you can't really find out what's in it, right? Because it's it's like all covered. Uh, that's like the original. So the like, were they were like the known to be the first to kind of invented uh, the barrel aging method. Yeah. So they yeah. So that's kind of a little side story. And uh, the big terms, single malt versus the blend, you hear this all the time. Uh, do you know what the difference? Uh, blind side. Hmm? Blind side. What was it? Uh, one, kind of scotch. one kind of scotch versus blended. Yes, pretty much that's correct. Uh, single malt is uh, two words combined to one, single and malt. So single means it's single location, single one factory, one place. And malt means they use 100% malted barley. So they only use malted barley. So malted barley I'll explain a little bit uh, later. But yeah, single location, 100% malted barley. As opposed to blend, doesn't have to be single location. It's normally a blend of different companies, different factories. and. Uh, it doesn't have to be 100% malted barley, so you can blend in like corn or or wheat or other other grains. You can so blend it in. Blended can be blended with not only barley and then from different locations. Correct. Yes, and uh, most the uh, big brands they they do that. They blend in, and then like the certain ratio, the higher ones, it's more aged and less grains, more malt, like. Cheaper ones are more grains, uh, less like single malt or less aged kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, overall, uh, that's like the uh, difference between single malt and blend. And this, I'll, I'll uh, have another day to talk more in detail. And the method, I'm going to go into the method uh, pretty quickly. So the malt barley, there's a method called malting the barley. So barley is a grain. Uh, it's like a seed. So uh, it, it's a starch only. So it does, it's starch only, so it doesn't have sugar on its own. But there's this method called malting, which basically you put the barley into the warm water and it'll kind of sprout. When it sprouts, it creates sugar when it's sprouting. So you kind of let that happen, and then you stop it when the sugar is maximum, to, uh, so that the, you'll get like malted barley, which is like sugary barley. How do you know 
Do you want it to sprout or with do you do it right before? Little, it? like right before sprout. If it actually sprouts, then it uses the sugar as an energy to sprout. So it, it'll lose, it'll eventually lose the sugar. So you want to stop it when uh, the sugar is like, like at height. So once that's done, you mix it with water, kind of get a mash. Basically, it's a sugary water. And then sugary water is going to ferment into alcohol. Up to this point, it's the same as uh, making beer. Yeah, so like if you add hops into this and make it carbonate, it's beer. Uh, not exactly, but kind of, but idea-wise. And then you distill. Distill meaning you, you semi-boil it and then get the condensation. That's how you get the high percentage of the alcohol. That's distillation. Uh, I won't go into detail today. And then uh, you put in oak barrel, normally oak barrel, and age it. And there's some like, super details on like what kind of oak, how many first fill, second fill, uh, sherry cask, or American bourbon cask, or, or Russell, or whatever. That all kind of makes a difference. Where you age it makes a difference. Uh, that's all in the detail. And you can also finish it in a different cask, uh, which is commonly done. You will age it in oak, uh, like a bourbon barrel, and then you blend it and then you put it in a different barrel for six months, and then so you add a little more flavor. Uh, that's like finishing. So you can, all kind of stuff uh, you can do here. Does finishing have a standard time? No, normally not. It just really depends on the company. So it doesn't have to be a maximum of six months or could be less than that? No, it, no, no, no laws uh, detail on the finishing. Okay. Yeah. And then at the end, you blend it even within your company. Uh, sing, like a bourbon, like single barrel bourbon is kind of popular, right? That's like one barrel. But normally, scotch whiskey or single malt, uh, you still blend it. And whatever the, the, the age statement that says on the bottle, that's the youngest aged whiskey that goes in. So if it's Kalita 12, then they still blend different barrels, different ages, but the youngest is at least 12 years old. So it's 12 years and older. If you see like 18 year olds, then it's a blend of 18 year olds age or older. So then that means, that one right there, mm -hmm. the Kalila probably mm -hmm. has something older in it? Yes, it will have, always have. Yeah, and then uh, that's a blend, you can add water because if it's like blended, it's like 54, 60% alcohol. So yeah, nobody water it down. And you can do other stuff. And then done. That's, so that's like the kind of quick way to uh, how to make scotch whiskey. Now the regions, uh, there are six major reasons. Um, so lowland, highlands, Speyside, islands, Isla, and then Campbelltown. Uh, the most famous region is Speyside. So this space site is in the highlands. So this is small area. This is where all the the brands are, are really popular, like Glenlivet, Glenfiddich, McAllen, uh, Balvini, uh, Glendron. I don't know, like all the the well known ones that you, that people people know are from space side. Most a lot of them are from space side. And then space side is this small region. In inside Highland, so they'll some of them will still call it Highland malt made in Speyside. Yeah, so it's still Highland as a grand region, and the Speyside is like a micro region. But they have like hundred plus distilleries in this small region, so it's like a really like a popular. Anything in uh, particular about it? Like it's just the weather there or something? Uh, I'll I'll get into detail, but like this is kind of where it started. Uh, got they they were making scotch all over, but it got like the big ones got popular, like Glen Livick, Glen Fittich, McAllen. They're all from here. They're kind of related. They were making it as like a, like a friends. So it was like a like a hot spot. And water was probably good too. And yeah, the other region, Highlands, there are like 10, 12, 20 distilleries. Lowland has a lot less. They have only had like three ish. Uh, and Campbelltown only have like one or two, but it's still categorized because uh, they used this little town used to have like hundred plus distilleries. So historically, it's it was like really uh, well known. Is the plural 
those six regions then? Yeah, so like an island. Island is really, it's no like stylistically uh, recognized because like depending on the island, it's totally different styles. So pretty much space side will kind of have like a lighter, brighter, fruity kind of character. Highlands similar, but could be different. Lowlands, there's only like two or three that uh, you can buy today, so it's really hard to like say, but like Ohen Toshan is known for like three times distilled. Uh, Isla is probably the most famous one that also has like a really distinct style, uh, which I will explain later, but it'll have like this distinct uh, smokiness. Most Isla scotch will have this distinct smokiness. So that's kind of like a one reason to be, to be PD, yes, to be recognized as like a unique style. Other than that, um, each company, they always have like some like special, oh, we use this style, we use this method, we use like, they'll kind of try to find speciality, like say Macallan, we only use like cherry cask finish or, or like Balbini, we are double, double oak, double barrel is famous or like, they always have like something that's like their specialty, their niche. So uh, today it's, it's like, you can't really generalize or categorize the flavor except uh, Isla. So that's it for today. So out of all of those, you said Lowlands. Lowlands. Yeah, they're uh, Lowlands. So side note, like more of the blended distilleries are down here. So they don't really sell their own bottle to the public. They normally just make whiskey grain whiskey, and then sell it to blenders. That, those are more here. Those are more common done. That's why uh, as on the market, on a liquor store, you don't really see so whiskey from the lowlands. Yeah. So actually, in a sense, it's like the cheap stuff. Mm, kind of, but like, you don't see it anyways. Yeah. It's not on the market. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's all for today. Thank you.